I'm convinced at this point that in 2024, YouTube is not a real place. We have doom scrolling, which has taken over the brain of our current generation now. You know, it's making everybody stupid. And a guy who is known for being fat ends up being skinny. What has our world come to? So yeah, Nico Caro Avocado is now looking like this. But when before, he looked like this. So if you don't know who Nico Caro Avocado is, he's basically a mukbang YouTuber. And he has done many of these videos like with like over 10 years now. And every single time he's done one, he gains a stupid amount of weight. And his audience notices that, but he doesn't care. He just he just made fun of it a, a lot of times. But, you know, uh, seven months ago, I think he realized that it was getting to a point of uncomfortable highs. And so he needed to take a break and, you know, just lose all the weight. Well, not all the weight, a good amount of the weight. And we are now at this point where Nico has lost over 250 pounds, which for my non-Americans is basically the equivalent of 113 kilograms. That's a lot of weight. And judging by his newest video, I think things are not gonna change. He's most likely gonna go back to making these mukbang videos, but I really hope he has a balance this time. Because I think the reason Nico got so huge in the first place was not because of the mukbang videos. It was because of the mukbang videos and he was not being strict about his weight. He was just eating a lot and not like doing anything about it, not exercising, not uh, walking, not doing anything to lose off the weight. Not, and, you know, none, none, none of that stuff. So I feel like if Nico doesn't want to get in this situation again, what he has to do is, if he wants to make the mukbang videos, he can make the videos, but then afterwards, just like cool down on the eating a little bit for like a day or two and just, just, wor or just work out like, you know, Many people, including me, you know, have been working out consistently and, you know, monitoring our eating. And it's been, been working for a lot of people. And it can work the same for Nico. And also, if he does this, then all of the Nico getting fat memes will die as well. <laughs> because there have been a lot of them over the years. And hopefully they can all just lay to rest. In the end, we have Nico losing 250 pounds before GTA 6. What a timeline. Peace.